I've got a box opening to share with y'all while enjoying a pipe. Howdy y'all, Virginia Piper here. Box openings are rare on this channel. So rare that this is the first one out of, how many videos have I put up? <clears throat> so is this really a Yabo, yet another box opening, or just a plain old box opening? Y'all can decide. The reason why this is so rare is that I don't buy interesting stuff all that often. But this week was different. Pipes and Cigars was running an offer in which they'd throw in a grab bag for orders over $79. Well, I needed to replenish my supply of, of Lane 1Q, and I thought it might be a great time to buy a Big Ben pipe I've had my eye on. It's been a while since my last pipe purchase, and it likely will be a while before my next one. And the grab bag idea really intrigued me. So two days ago, I placed the order, and today it arrived. So we're gonna go through what came. Now, by the way, this is where I go off script. And I'm a highly scripted person. So my presentation quality may suffer a bit, or it might be exciting. It could go either way. All right, so I got a box in the mail today. And you will see that it's already open. A couple of reasons for this. One, basically the bottom of the box was sort of kind of semi apart and all of that. Um, I fault the uh, uh, postal service rather than pipes and cigars. So, you know, I just figured I'd kind of help it along before I did the video and peek inside. But, um, most of this stuff here, though, well, we still need to go through it. So, I guess we should go to the star of the show. The Big Ben Pipe. Hopefully, the playback will kind of show the letters not being reflected this way. This is kind of like looking through a mirror. So, hopefully, this is reading Big Ben instead of something a little bit odd. The box. Take a look at this. It's quite interesting. Isn't that cool? Got kind of like a little ribbon to pull out the drawer. And a pipe. Let's get that. It's right here. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? Love the color on this, just because it's unusual. And take a look at the top there too, where it's got that really neat natural wood finish. So. I like this pipe too already. Because it seems to clench really well or allows me to clench it pretty easily. So definitely looking forward to trying this out. Let's get this back in. Put it back in the drawer. Mm. 
Oh, forgot to mention. Also in the box were some pipe cleaners and I believe uh, some filters for it. I don't really bother with filters much. All right, onward and upward. I'm gonna go to the star of the show, the other star of the show, I should say, which is 12 ounces of Lean One Q. I'm good to go for a while. And on to the grab bag. I was hoping maybe to get a cigar sampler in there, but I gotta tell ya, um, not only, it looks like not only did I get that, but so much more. Check this out. You know, this is almost like getting a stocking at Christmas. When I was young, uh, we used to get these humongous actually real stockings filled with just all kinds of small toys and stuff like that and kind of getting that feeling now. So let's see what's inside. Jester pipe tobacco. In fact, I'm seeing quite a few different pipe tobaccos in here. So uh, look forward to a number of reviews here, maybe some opportunities to share. So Jester pipe tobacco. Now, this is rather interesting. This is, hmm, a bag that says Bugatti Premium Cigars. Clear of fingers. There are no cigars in here. think of it there's nothing at all I thought I felt something in there but it's empty don't quite get that but no fears because there still is a lot of great stuff in here so let's continue on all right I think these are cigarillos or cigarillos. Hoyo Monterey de Jose Ganer, Excalibur, yep, cigarillos. Never really got into these yet, but might be an opportunity. Moving right along. Pipe cleaners! You can always use pipe cleaners. Um, definitely. Believe it or not, something this simple makes me happy. All right, on to the next. Hmm. C'est la vie, pipe tobacco. Seen this advertised in their catalog. Looking forward to giving this a try. Mm. Another travel mug. Actually, uh, if you look back up there, there's one that I got, oh, from another, uh, actually, I don't think it was a grab bag. Um, actually, it might have been. I'm trying to remember how I got that one. Um, but anyway, um, don't want to waste your time trying to jog my memory but I know it was tied with uh, pipes and cigars purchase.
Hmm. Humicare pillows. I guess this is for keeping cigars fresh. I don't even have a humidor. Should probably consider getting one together. I have a small collection of basically budget cigars because I don't have a whole lot of money to be making lots of cigar purchases or pie purchases. But I don't know, it looks like there might be uh, some necessity there. Stanwell, extra fine pipe tobacco, way cool. Oh, ho, ho. a cigar. Let's see here. Cohiba. Interesting. I am not a cigar expert, but this looks intriguing. Smoker's Pride. Vanilla Cavendish. I've seen this advertised. Yeah, it's kind of uh, one of these inexpensive pipe tobaccos. I've kind of shied away from this stuff because, you know, the huge bags that I see in the store, you know, I sometimes purchase those and they've had kind of a little bit of a chemically chemical type taste to it. But, hey, free is free. And I'm willing to give this a go. And we have another cigar. You know, I meant to order a cigar cutter. I had one at one point. It's come up missing. Don't know where it is. Hard for me to make out exactly what this is. Fun of eyesight when you reach middle age. Take a closer look later. Hmm. A bottle opener. Okay, not too bad. I seem to lose uh, my bottle openers from time to time, usually when I want a beer. So I'm glad to have an extra one. Oh my gosh. Remember when I told you that I needed a cigar cutter? Take a look at what came. A cigar cutter. Life is good. This looks like a lighter. Never been one for lighters. I've tried using them from time to time and just kind of found them to be a little bit awkward. And my preference is wooden matches. I'm willing to give it a go. And finally, something here, an Alta Garcia. This Alta Garcia boxes. This has sampler on it. So let's see if we can kind of break through this and see if there's anything but the box or anything in the box. Hmm. Can't seem to break through this. I'd have to bring this over to my uh, workshop to open it up. But kind of shaking it just seems to be a box. So once I get through it, if there's anything interesting in here, I'll let you know. So quite a haul. Um, I've got to say I'm really impressed. Oh, wait. And I believe there is also... Um, ah, yes. Drexel number eight. Did a review on this. Um, this was tossed in with another order that I had placed got a feeling they're probably trying to get rid of this. Again, free pipe tobacco is free pipe tobacco. Oh, there you go. 
as much as possible. I'll even see if there are some ways that I can share. Looks like I've got a number of products to review as well. So uh, I think I did pretty good. Hope you all are having a good one.